All eyes are on the Jodhpur court, which will pronounce its verdict in the 1998 Black Buck poaching case against actor Salman Khan and others. The Chief Judicial Magistrate Dev Kumar Khatri will pronounce the verdict. Salman is accused of killing endangered Black Buck while shooting for a film in Jodhpur, while his co-stars Tabu Sonali Bendre, Neelam uh, will be produced, uh, will also be present at the court. They are facing charges of inciting the actor to hunt the animal. A local travel agent, Dushan Singh, and another Dinesh Gavre are also accused in the case. The letter was said to be the assistant of Salman Khan at that time. On Wednesday, the Dabang Khan boarded a chartered plane from Mumbai to Jodhpur after landing from Abu Dhabi, where he was shooting for race 3. Salman faces a jail term of six years and if the court pronounces him guilty and gives him more than three years, then he would have to approach the Rajasthan High Court for bail. In case the punishment is less than three years, he will seek bail from the same court. Remember, the actor was also charged for possession of unlicensed arms, but the charges were dropped due to lack of evidence. All right, uh, let me quickly, in fact, India Today's uh, Sharad uh, Kumar, our colleague, uh, from Archduck files uh, this exclusive report from the hotel where Salman Khan spent the night. Salman Khan पर जोधपुर में दो काले हीरों के शिकार के मामले में फैसला आना है। Salman Khan इसी जोधपुर के ताज हरी पैलेस में रुके हुए हैं। वो जो आप नीचे देख रहे हैं कमरा 11 नंबर कमरा वहाँ पर रुके हुए हैं। कल रात भर Salman Khan जगे रहे। यहाँ पर स्विंग पूल के बगल में रात को 12 बजे अपने पूरे परिवार के साथ बैठे थे सलमान खान के बहन अलविरा थी अर्पिता उनके बच्चे थे उसके बाद 12 बजे के बाद वो जिम गए हैं जिम से करीब 1 बजे वापस आए हैं 1 बजे आकर उन्होंने स्विमिंग की है और उसके बाद वहां कुछ देर और बैठे हैं करीब 3 से 4 बजे के आसपास वो कमरे के अंदर गए हैं ऐसे में आप समझ सकते हैं कितनी बेचैनी रही होगी कितनी बेचैनी रही होगी अब फैसले को लेकर हालांकि परिवार के लोग जो बैठे थे वो करीब एक डेढ़ बजे के आसपास यहां से चले गए थे लेकिन सलमान खान करीब दो बजे के बाद यहां से गए हैं और यहीं बैठे हुए थे इनका ग्यारह नंबर कमरा है इसी में रुके हुए हैं अपने पूरे परिवार के साथ यहां से करीब सवा दस बजे उनके निकलने का कार्यक्रम है जो सीधे कोर्ट जाएंगे उनके साथ परिवार के लोग भी जाएंगे लेकिन फैसले को लेकर साफ तराव एक सलमान खान के ऊपर है और उसी वजह से स्विमिंग और जिम के जरिए सलमान खान रात भर जगे रहे हैं खाने में कोल्डिंग्स उन्होंने मंगाया था और कुछ स्नैक्स लेकिन जो हमारे होटल के सूत्र हैं उनको कहना है कि वो भी उन्होंने नहीं खाया है all right, let me go across to my colleague uh, Vidya, who is joining us uh, from Jodhpur, uh, in fact, from the hotel where Salman Khan currently is staying. That report came in from the same hotel. Uh, Vidya, uh, Salman Khan uh, is expected to leave with his family very soon. Uh, what else can you tell us about, uh, you know, this case? This is, of course, not only is going to be uh, something that is going to decide his future, but it, unlike in the other cases, the Chinkara case and others, the crucial witnesses, at least in this case, have stood their ground. Well, it certainly is, Amit, and that's one of the reasons that, uh, you know, Ankit, the, the entire prosecution is very upbeat uh, and feel that they will be able to win over this entire case, though, uh, you know, uh, the last two cases, uh, you know, Rajasthan government has really gone in appeal in the Supreme Court. Uh, but in spite of that, uh, there is a chance that the prosecution stands in this particular case of Black Buck is what they feel, and that is one of the reasons why they feel that uh, the eyewitnesses had stood their ground. There were medical evidence. There were DNA evidence and all that. Uh, they, with that, all that they have been able to prove their point. However, the defense has made it very clear that you know the entire case is fabricated. It was done only to assuage the feelings of uh, the Vishnoi community, which had been pressurizing the uh, you know uh, the police and the administrative machinery over the killing over the deaths of these uh, chinka you know black bugs and chinkaras in the area and uh, who uh, who actually uh, act as guardians of uh, the animals there in that particular area so certainly uh, there uh, there you know the defense has made their point the prosecution right. did uh, go but ahead stay on with me stay on with me in fact we are getting breaking news on this story in fact uh, uh, now what we have been told is that uh, the judge 
in this case, Mr. Khatri has arrived at the Jodhpur court. So the court now will be in session. The judge has arrived very soon. We'll see Salman Khan and others also going to the court where the verdict will be pronounced. So the proceedings just about to begin in a short while from now. In fact, Vidya is still with us. Vidya, uh, the judge in fact has arrived at the court. Uh, at what time is Salman Khan leaving for the court where the verdict will be announced? Uh, well, it should be any time now. We did see the vehicle which, uh, which uh, Salman Khan uses for his transportation in the city. Uh, that go really going inside the hotel, the premier hotel that he has been staying in, Jodhpur. Uh, every time he comes in and this was no different. He stayed in at the same place. Uh, uh, and will be travelling by the same car which he does every day. This time along it will be worthwhile to see whether his sisters actually accompanying him to the court though it is going to be very crowded and in the court premises remember Ankit uh, in fact uh, the you know the uh, uh, judicial uh, co uh, administrators have tried to see to it there is no overcrowding uh, they, they have in fact forbid other advocates who are not pertaining to this particular case to not really enter the court uh, so they are trying to do their best to see that there is no overcrowding and that uh, the entire proceedings go on smoothly but at this moment yes it will be in some time that we'll really see Salman Khan leaving uh, from this particular hotel while the other actors who are put up in the in a different hotel which is near my they will be leaving that uh, for the destination soon that is the court stay on with me uh, with the in fact let me quickly get across to Sushant uh, our colleague who is standing right outside the Jodhpur court He's joined by the lawyer of the actresses, in fact, who were also present in the case. They have been charged with inciting Salman Khan to, in fact, go ahead and kill these animals. Sushant, what are the uh, you know arguments that make the lawyer optimistic that his clients are going to be let off? Let's just put that question uh, to Mr. K.K. Vyas, who is the legal counsel in Jodhpur for uh, Saif. Ali Khan, Sonali Bendre and Neelam. Uh, firstly, look very upbeat this morning, hoping for a positive verdict. Yes, we are positive. We do have faith in judiciary. We'll get justice from the court. You already, uh, you know, your clients have been acquitted in the rest of the three cases, but this case is the most important one. My clients were not accused in these cases. My clients were not accused in these cases. But this, this particular verdict today, what makes you so sure that they're going to be acquitted today? Because this is the main I, case. I'm not making any statement whether they are, they are going to be acquitted or whether they are going to be convicted. It, it is up to the judge. He will decide. And I am now aware what is judgment he is going to pronounce. Right, so but it's ask just him, ask him what are the arguments that he made be. that uh, in, in inside the court for his on court. behalf of his clients. I mean, they have also but been accused Mr. of inciting just, Salman just Khan. What, what, the, 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 the arguments that have been made, the arguments that, that have been made. Been made before the learned judge. That's a 20. He has to decide whether we are right or prosecution is right. It's a 20. It's a 20. Let me just complete, let me just complete my question. It's a 20 year long case. Now, now today is the day. We have faced the trial. You we have faced the trial, I know. But what are the arguments that have been made from your party and your? I have forgotten what arguments I made. That doesn't matter. Judge knows. Judge the, knows. Why, judge why knows the arguments. arguments. I have made. But you are positive that you are going to get a positive. Every lawyer positive who represents the crime, accused person, defense counsel, always positive. Okay, and Seb, Sonali, and Neelam yeah. that you represent, yeah, yeah, yeah. they are accused of being co-conspirators or inciting, you know, inciting Salman Khan I'm at betting, the day. I'm betting. I'm betting. I'm betting the crime. Um, and being a member of one lawyer assembly. But they were with Salman Khan on these dates, you know, the accused dates, and especially the black buck killing case, the final date of October 1 to 2nd. Yeah. They were with Salman Khan. No, no, <laughs> no, no, no. They no. were not with Salman Khan. No, no, Salman was not there. It is a total false case. You are saying Salman also wasn't there and it is a total false total case. Total false case. So Salman so Khan... They fabricated the all documents and they registered a false case in back date and they sent it on the 8th of the October and they are showing that the FIR was registered on the 4th to the 2nd of the October which was sent and you on your legal reporter you know the FIR always goes to the within 24 well, to the courts. This FIR in, in this case the FIR didn't re reach in the court on the 3rd. It reached on the 8th. Eight. It's on the eight, but five endangered species, uh, you know, reportedly that have been killed. Alleged. That, then, is that is up to the judge. He has to decide whether we are right or prosecution is right. Okay, so there you have it. KK Vyas saying it's a completely false case that in fact Salman Khan also wasn't present at the crime scene. He's saying Neelam, Saif and Sonali, the clients that he represents were also not present with Salman Khan. Very upbeat today morning. Uh, this lawyer particularly very upbeat that his clients will be go, uh, will go scot-free today. They will not be convicted. Ankit, back to you.
Sushant, you know, before I uh, let you go, have you been able to speak to any of these stars? Uh, yesterday, we saw some social media videos surfacing of, uh, of uh, Saif Ali Khan quite flustered at the airport when the questions were asked of him uh, in Jodhpur. Have you been able to speak to any of them? Ankit, you know, they have been silent. What I've learned is that they're going to leave the hotel, I think, about 10.30 a.m. and they're going to reach over here. But what we've learned right now is that nobody's willing to speak, although I tried to get in touch with Salman's team. They also told me in typical Salman Khan team fashion, ke bhai, jo bhi hoga, kal hi hoga. So they are waiting for the verdict. They are upbeat about the verdict. And they are saying possibly they're going to speak to the media after the verdict is pronounced. As you know, Judge Khatri has now taken his chair. And uh, the verdict we know about one hour to one and a half hours from now is going to be pronounced. All right, uh, stay on with me, uh, Sushant. Uh, also, Vidya, I request both of you to be with us. This is our top focus here on India today. It's D Day for Salman Khan in the 1998 Black Buck poaching case ahead of the crucial verdict. India today tried to speak to Salman's father, Salim Khan. Uh, Salim Khan evaded the questions about the charges against his son and refused to speak on the camera. If Salman is found guilty, he faces up to six years in prison. Let me also now uh, get you a sense uh, outside the residence of Salman Khan at the Galaxy apartment in Mumbai. Our colleague Pia Hingorani uh, is joining us uh, from there. Uh, Pia, uh, anxious moments for his fans. Ultimately, today it will be decided whether Salman Khan is going to be in trouble as far as the law is concerned. Many run-ins that we have seen so far, some way or the other, he has been able to save himself. Absolutely, Ankit. But in fact, let me also tell you that, you know, while we've been standing outside Galaxy Apartments from early in the morning, his fans have been coming and they seem rather upbeat. They seem uh, quite positive about this entire case and they believe that their bhai, their bhai Jan is going to come out, uh, you know, um, victorious out of this case. And in fact, we were talking to some people and they believe that even though he might have done a lot of, you know, follies in the past, all should be forgiven because he is a good man. Remember his PR exercise of starting being human his NGO which actually helps a lot of these people around his area as well so you know he has a lot of cheerleaders a lot of fans um, you know who come here um, every verdict every time that he has a case coming up and you know they're coming here to cheer for him and uh, you know to support him so they also believe that he will come out victorious Sushant, you know, if I can come to you very quickly, this also is a very interesting aspect, isn't it? And you've seen Salman Khan's uh, career also very closely. Uh, how it was this image that was cultivated from the essential bad boy of Bollywood, the man who had charges of uh, running over people, of fights, of beating girlfriends, so and so forth. Now, suddenly in the last 10-15 years, a very carefully curated image of Salman Khan, the good-hearted gentle who goes out, helps people. Yes, you know, uh, very interestingly, Ankit, Reshma Shetty, who was the PR manager, manager of Salman Khan for all these years, I think she was the architect be behind this whole Being Human PR Foundation, the Being Human Foundation, when Salman really transformed from being bad to being human. And even in the hit and run case, you remember the quotes, you know, the, the arguments that were made by his lawyers, they said that he is now a philanthropist, you know, that he does all this charity work, and that was one of the arguments. So very interestingly, he's gone, as you correctly said, from being bad to being human, but now you see Salman Khan, top of his game, number one superstar, you know, at the box office. Again and again, you see these 300 crore hits, so much, so much uh, money riding on him uh, to the tunes of 500 crores, plus 500 crores you know so Salman Khan right now you know as I said doesn't speak to the media much he knows whenever he speaks to the media he makes some controversial remarks so he stays away from the limelight so as to say he stays away from the controversy he has already too many controversies in his life but yes the being human foundation the be human being human PR team and now he's let go of Reshma Shetty so Reshma Shetty is no longer taking care of Salman Khan and he's going ahead with his own team with his brothers and you know his close uh, close associates so right now the being human PR foundation has done him a world of good in changing his image also Hmm. Also, he has this big entourage in the industry, the Salman Bhai angle that you see, you know, everybody who is associated with him gets roles. It can be a Daisy Shah to a Zareen Khan to a Katrina Kaif, Jacqueline Fernandez, Suraj Pancholi. So whoever is in Salman camp, Sunakshi Sinha, all these people will get movies because they know Bhai very well. Yeah, you know, uh, and uh, Pia, if I can come, come back to you, uh, ultimately, 
it's not about the sentiments of the people i mean we saw a big bollywood superstar uh, uh, you know uh, at, at the peak of his career uh, sanjay dutt after the kalnayak movie also had to spend a considerable amount of time inside the prison uh, recently only he has been able to come out uh, of that tag uh, you know of helping in the 1998 that arms act of the 1993 uh, mumbai blast case so the sentiments are on one side the co the case will be decided on merit well right but with salman khan fans they believe that despite uh, you know him having gone through so many ups and downs you know despite the hit and run case and despite all the other cases that uh, you know have been attached to salman khan now that he's been doing so much good through his being human foundation he should be forgiven uh, you know he might have done five bad things but he's doing many million uh, you know good things this is according to of course his fans but uh, you know the Uh, nothing comes in front of the judiciary and that of course stays as it is should. but if salman khan does get convicted today and um there's a lot of money riding on him he is currently shooting for race 3 which is about 200 crores and then you know he has a lot of other films in the pipeline so you know bollywood would actually face a big blow if he does uh, you know get convicted today well uh, can that of course be a point of contention as far as the judge is concerned we'll have to wait and see this whole uh, public exercise by salman khan and as sushant and priya were speaking about the money riding on the superstar with just hours to go thanks for watching the video for more such news and updates please like share and subscribe to india today also check out our other great videos from our channel we know you would love to